we are playing No Man's Sky and I'm just getting it started up. So this is episode 11 of No Man's Sky Frontiers. So, oh, all right, that's why. There we go. So the game's just launching. And again, I let you see it launch because on this computer it doesn't take very long. And I'm very pleased about that. So last time, as you recall, we were uh, doing scientific research and then the scientist went to sleep on me and I had to go do something with his soul and all of that. Anyhow, so that's how I ended up on this completely empty world, doing something or another. I forget why I was here. I'll pick up a little of that just to start because you can never have too much. Okay, that's not true. You can have too much. You can have too much of everything, but all right. So, I think I was just in this to make some money. I'm not sure why I was here. Well, Let's go make a little cash first and, and build up some nanites and I'll just blow up some things here while I'm sitting here. Again, I'm going to need all of this later. So. Yeah, even the silver. Silver doesn't seem very useful at the moment, but it will be. Oh yeah, and I need to dig up more of those... Uh, Buried, I forget what they're called, but the buried things. All right, let's go to a world. And we'll do a little of that before we get back to the scientist. I'm going to keep the episode to less than an hour today. So we're going to this unknown planet, or press C and see what we're looking at. A corrosive planet with high sentinel activity. So. Okay, I've got shields now, so I'm a bit better prepared, although I'm not as heavily armed as I'd like to be. So, oh, that's a cloud. I thought that might be a lake, but no. Okay. Usually if there's lakes, I like to land beside them. Oh, look at that. It's a building of some sort. So let's land at the building. Sometimes that's useful. And before I exit, I'll just make sure, yes, I have launch thruster stuff. I remember I, built, I bought some technology and I never did install any of it. Like all these different drives, but even more importantly, the scanners, the instability drive. Well, I need a warp cell for that. Um, but that, there was more. There was the, um, yeah, the launch charger. And I need some stuff for that. And the efficient uh, thrusters. I need another wiring loom. So let's keep those in mind as well. Especially the, the launch thruster recharger. Because it's annoying to always have to check. And make sure that uh, I have sufficient uh, launch fuel. So okay. Doing these and again saving this location it gives me some nanites not very many and it gives me a navigation thingy uh, whatever they're called uh, navigational data navigation data and I need that if I'm calling the starship somewhere all right let's check on this there's an active sentinel oh this is probably a guarded 
post, isn't it? I bet you it is. Now I can blast my way into a guarded post. That commits me to battling it out with the sentinels, at least for a few minutes. Uh, but, you know, there's generally more stuff inside. You know, there's plans or something. But I need good language skills to be able to use that. So let's just leave that. And we'll make some money. So, yeah. Right click. That allows me to zoom up. Yeah, right, anything more? Oh, there's different flying creatures. That's the secret with the flying creatures, right? It's the right click and zoom right up on them. That way you can most easily scan them and collect your reward. Alright, so there's buried technology module. We need to pick up more of those so that we can do some more base building. And, uh, so let, let's head off on that. Head off in that direction. It's a little ways, isn't it? Sometimes I just get impatient. I want to blast my way through the obstacles rather than going over them. Such is the case at the moment. Oh, well that's mineral. Okay. thought that was a plant. Like, those are plants. And those will probably blast pretty quickly. Yeah. Unidentified mineral. Oh, it's ferrite dust. So we'll just scan it. We don't need more ferrite dust, really. Yeah, which can number. Oh, weapon charge deleted. Or depleted. depleted. So I'll charge that up just in case I need it. Mining beam, condensed carbon, charged. Oh. Those, yeah, those are old familiar ones. Let's see what we've got on this thing. And I always, I just press the little rolly button in the middle of the mouse and discard that bundle slop or whatever it is because it's useless to me. What else did I pass over it? I did. There it is. And, oh, inventory full. That's no good. I don't need facium. I will at some point in the future, but I don't need it now. Alright. Anything else I can scan around here? There's not much in this world, is there? Oh, there's one of those damaged machines. Oh, there's one. Let's go after that. I'm sure there's more animals. We just have to find them. Or recharge my hazard protection. So, yeah, I'll just 
I could get preoccupied with something and die by accident from the hazard. It would not be the first time I've done that. And not too much to scan here, is there? Unidentified mineral. Not worth very much, but I'll get rewarded for it later. Wow. Let's see what sort of... Okay, so there's another flying one. Oh, there is water. There's, and that's where all the animals are. So it's either flying or underwater. Okay. So there is water here somewhere. Really? Well, where I am is completely landlocked. Oops. So we might as well go back to the ship and find the water. And there, that's right sitting there right in front of me. Might as well take advantage of it while I'm here. Yeah, nanites. How boring. So where's my ship and how far is it from here? Ship is 457. I don't feel like walking that. No, still the same. Still the same. Lots of flying creatures. Alright, so... Oops, that's X to call the ship. And we'll go in search of some water. I'm going to go into space to give me a better view of the planet as a whole. Looks like it's one of these worlds that either has very little water or all the water is concentrated in a single area. Looks like a bit of both, eh? There's, and you see some water there, here and there. There's a large body of it. Yeah, that's better. So, let's go after that then. I think it's just an ordinary ship. Alright. Back to my to my landing near water. It's sometimes worth keeping an eye on the track of other ships because they don't land aimlessly. They land near useful things like trading posts. So, it's useful to, to follow them. And in fact, I found more than one thing just by following a landing ship. You know, I just saw it go by and I thought, hmm, it's not flying overhead, it's landing. And I go to where it's landing and lo and behold, there's something useful. All right. didn't land right away because I thought, well, maybe I can find a base of some sort. Oh, there's my third flying creature. So now everything else is going to be in the water. So let's check the land first. I'm going to bury technology module. There's another one too, right? Oh, only 71 units away and that's 366. So let's go after the close one first. And the others are in the same direction. So we'll dig this one up first. Alright, now where's the others? There's the one at 377, 332, 
207, so let's go after that one first. I know, I'm going directly away from the water, but we need these technology modules too. You know, it's going to come up building the base. So. Covered in a subterranean organic structure. That's a bit unusual. Not the first time I've seen that though. So we've got that, whatever that is. Oh, we didn't get it because the inventory was full. Yeah. Oh well. Let's uh, see if we can't rationalize this a bit. I don't need that cobalt. So, next time that happens, I won't hit inventory full. Alright. So, that's at 323, 371. They never seem to get closer, do they? Oh, you see, look at that. Oh, jeez, there was a ship right there. I missed it completely. Oh, well. There's nothing here. But, I missed it. I don't know if there was an opportunity to trade or... Yeah, but oh well. Okay, let's go into the water. Now, the water is often toxic too, so you need to be careful. It's not announcing toxicity, so that's a good sign. Also, while I'm down here, give myself life support. Alright, now we'll start scanning. Of course, we're not just scanning fish. There are other planets, but there are fish. And there are some fish to scan. And those are some different fish to scan. These are yet further fish to scan. Oh, I got to hit the plant instead. There we go. And I think there's one more that's going to be a rare creature. And if I know my creatures, and I do, it's going to be one of those ones that crawls along the bottom. Probably. And I don't guarantee it because, you know, the dynamics have changed in this game with the new Frontiers edition, but, and especially the predictability of sea life is one of the big changes. I think it's a good change because sea life was way too predictable before. You'd always have the same type of, of fish. So, and there'd only be three. So. Gotta do something about that toxicity again. So let's go in and boost up my hazard protection. So still looking for a fish. Oops. Careful, don't drown. <laughs> so I'm just pressing on the uh, Jeez, I was really deep there. Alright. Death averted. <laughs> Still haven't died. Um, oh. pick up that submerged relic. They're worth a reasonable amount of money. But again, let's not die getting it. Remember, we went pretty deep here. Today. This is really deep water. It's a bit unusual in that. We've already scanned that. Can replenish my oxygen with it. Gives me a little bit more time down here. There's actually quite a bit of it, so. Still looking for those creatures. Oh, there's 
something new. Let's get down to After that relic, there's another one here too, right? Is it closer? No, it isn't. No. So, and the uh, submerged relics also recharge my oxygen, so that's fine. But let's keep in mind that the main reason we're down here is to look for that last type of fish to fish for submerged relics. And in fact, I get to surface because I'm not seeing any more of those uh, kelp sack type plants. Oh, there we go, there we go. Well, oh, I got an inorganic, inorganic object. I have to get under the water to be able to scan it. I'm going toward it and trying to get under the water without losing. Oh, crap. There we go, I got him. Whoa. That is elusive, <laughs> but I got it. That was hard. So I think I got I got all of them. Yes, I did. So let's go for a quick 1700 nanites, and we'll just catalog everything while we're here. All right, very nice. So I don't need to be in the water anymore. Where's the nearest land? There it is. You sort of have to be careful with fish because if you run into fish, they take a bite out of you. And that's not good. And if you run into a whole school of fish, you can suddenly find yourself dying or nearly dead. That's definitely not good. Oops. Got active drones here. Alright, any more? Buried cash. Yeah, here we go. That's about the same distance. That's about the same distance. Oh, I'd love to get this, uh... This, this condensed carbon, but with that sentinel sitting there, if I go after the uh, condensed carbon, it's going to attack me. Might still be worth doing. There's quite a bit of it here. Let's uh, replenish my attack anyways. Oops, hold on. There's some more going by. Are they landing anywhere? No. Okay. And let's just go after this very technology module. Not be too obvious to the Sentinel. We'll, we'll have plenty of chances to do Sentinel blasting in the future, trust me. But I just want to be better armed. Get me. Oh, there it is. Hidden in a rock. <laughs> All right. All right. The sentinels aren't nearly as sensitive to terrain manipulators, which is interesting. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. 
And let's collect some nanites here, or maybe something neat. We'll see. Nope, well, just nanites. charge my miner mining tool terrain manipulator charge that with the silicon powder and then we'll get rid of the rest of the silicon powder as something I don't need and when we get back to the ship we'll offload a little bit of our cargo here not far from the ship now. Are we? No, we're not. Where is it? Well, there's that health again. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Good. Alright. So, that restores our health. Now, it doesn't say health at maximum, you notice that? So, it means we have more health to restore. So, we need to keep an eye out for those things. Meanwhile, I'll just gather whatever's here. So I'm not sure, it's hard to tell what your health is. So, you know, there's not an easy way to do it. Um, yeah. No sentinels around, so. I can get away with this here now. I'd like to get the condensed carbon. Oh, okay, let's go. Alright, let's find my ship and blow this popsicle stand. I don't really like this world anyways. I mean, it's kind of cool, but, you know, not my favorite. we go. And now let's go to the space station. Better recharge my uh, technology here. My exosuit. Boy, I'm sure going through that fast. That's kind of... I'm not used to that life support. Learn the electromagnetic generator. Yeah, I guess, eh? In the space anomaly. Okay. X summons the space anomaly. And 
And yeah, I'd love to learn the electromagnetic generator. You know what there isn't in the space anomaly? There isn't an intergalactic trade portal. So if I want to buy stuff and stuff, well, mostly if I want to sell stuff, I need a station to go to. Posters are not new, but that one is new. Okay. Flags. Stools. Oil burner. That's new. Kiln fired pot is new. But I'm looking specifically for the electromagnetic power generator. Got to be in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, electromagnetic tens, salvage data. Yeah. Couple metal planings. So mineral extractor wall switch. Don't have enough for a mineral extractor. Let's get a lantern so I can actually create some light. <laughs> and these. Wall lights are nice too. So let's give myself the full range of these. And one more lamp post. And one more salvage data, eh? Oh, let's get that. Alright, so that's it for my uh, salvage data. I'll have to get some more. But while I'm here, let's try to collect some nanites. Oh, not from these guys. think of this guy's Groot. So let's have floral data. That should give me a fair number of nanites. 205. Yeah. And I should have some more milestone data to share with Aries. Or the Martian. <laughs> well, well, let's give him a gold nugget and see what we get. Three nanites. Should have kept the gold. Milestone data. Oh, industrial surveying. Install the survey device. All right. Survey device. Oh, we're going to need some stuff. All right, well, let's install that. I know we want that. Okay, so. Let's go to the space station. And get the stuff we need. Alright, to the space. 
space station we go. Install the survey device. I thought I did. Well, I need the equipment. Okay. Never mind. It's misdirecting me. So we're going to spend some money here. That's okay. The trick to knowing where the entrance is, is that that icon always points to the entrance. And if it's pointing to a spot on the station where there isn't an entrance, then the entrance is at exactly the opposite spot on the station. So you just go past the station and then turn around to get to the entrance. Alright, first things first. Go up on this side, dump some of the stuff that we can sell. Ooh. Always talk to the travelers when they see them because he's going to give us. Well, I guess I shouldn't have bargained. He'll forgive me, it's okay. He really wants to give me something. We'll ask where he came from. He's going to give me a place of interest, and that's where I'm going to find a glyph. So I'll go to the glyph before I go back to my base. But, okay, so let's sell these the adult cores, the adium and pearls. Uh, Keep the gold, I think. But I want to put it into the uh, starship. And. Pneumonia, we don't need. The Gek Relic, we don't need. Okay, what have I got in the ships that's worth selling? The Platinum. Oops. The Anomaly Detector. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll hang on to that. We'll sell the gold nugget. We'll sell the Tritium Hyperclusters. Um, and we'll sell the platinum. And we'll hang on to the silver. So now the exosuit, and I want to transfer the gold to the ship. That's where I prefer to keep it. Because that way I have it in different places when I need it in different places. Okay, now. Multi-tool. I want to install the survey device. So I need three magnetic resonators, one quantum computer, and one wiring loom. So let's come back here. This will probably have all of these. There's the wiring loom that I needed. Oh, maybe not, eh? Well, that's disappointing. All right, we'll go across the way and see if there are any on the other side. Or also, too, sometimes these guys have things that I need. Let's see. Oh, uh, well, I know I need multiprocessors. Two, three, four, five. I need a solar mirror? I'm not sure. I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, let's check quickly before he goes away. Um, no. One quantum computer and three magnetic resonators.
female chamber. Always nice. Pure ferrite, always nice. I'll take that. Not what I came here for, but I got nine million units. I'm not gonna miss forty-four thousand. Might as well take the dust while I'm at it. I wish there was a faster way of doing this. But there isn't. Alright. So on. Let's go. Let's try the uh, store on the other side. We want to visit this other side anyways. So. We'll look for that here. See, there's two stores in every space station, not just one. And where is it? There it is. I walked right by it. Necessarily have the same stuff. Well, I know I need a couple of metal platings for something. Um, no, it's not. This is not a very useful system, is it? Okay. No, I was busy buying stuff that I needed for something, but what was it? I forget. be better right I've got two superior and one that's good but not perfect okay so let's see if he has a supreme scanning first we'll check that uh, it's not gonna be good purchase an upgrade module let's see good scanner nope Alright, don't care. And, uh, yeah, lots of nanites know where to spend them. Eh? This really is a crappy system. <laughs> install that on my ship. I think I have, oh yeah, tons of room. Alright, so for the launch thruster module, let's put it in the technology side of the starship, and let's move the launch thruster itself over there, and let's move the, uh, oh, I don't have it, okay. So, he, and, uh, I need two wiring looms for the efficient thrusters, more magnetic resonators and two more wiring looms for the uh, launch system recharger. I wonder if I can make those magnetic resonators. I probably can't. I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. 
Oh, and I can make these too. So I just need some antimatter. I don't think I can make antimatter. Yes, I can. Let's make some antimatter. That takes condensed carbon and chromatic metal. That makes the antimatter expensive. So there's my quantum computer. So now I can put my quantum computer into my multi tool. There it is. And I need to make three magnetic resonators. Okay, so let's make some magnetic resonators. So what do I need? Ionized cobalt. Maybe it sells that here. <laughs> Ionized cobalt or just plain cobalt will also do. But there it is. I keep walking right by it. I don't know why. Cobalt. All right. I can buy a, a bunch of ionized or a bunch of cobalt. I don't mess around. <laughs> All right. Have I installed my uh, personal refiner yet? I have or not. Um, there it is, personal refiner. So let's install that. Okay. So my personal refiner is installed. Now I'll charge my personal refiner and I'll use my condensed carbon or my sorry, my cobalt as input. Where'd it go? There it is. And we'll begin. It's going to take a few minutes. But uh, so, what else can I do that's useful while I'm waiting for it? So, just waiting for the magnetized. Have I got enough magnetized ferrite? Oh, yeah, I got tons. Forty yet? Yeah, it's seventy. It's not. It's, it's not going to take a long time to get all that I need. Okay. And now I'll keep doing its thing, but now I can make these one, two, three, and. No, that is my personal refiner. I'll come back to my multi-tool. And now I can add my three magnetic resonators. Oh, I still need two wiring ones, right? But I can buy those right here. So two wiring looms. One, two, and we needed two more for something else, as I recall. So, all right. So let's put the wiring, wiring looms in. There we go. So now my survey device is installed. Um, so excellent. Now there was another thing I wanted. Oh, yeah, right. My, my uh, efficient launcher, efficient. No, oh, it's efficient thrusters, right? So I can put those in. Okay, so I now have efficient thrusters. And the, and the uh, rechargers. So I need two magnetic resonators and two wiring ones for that. Okay, and I have the antimatter already. So let's. Have I got enough? Let's come back to the uh, to the refiner, which is still refining away. <laughs> so where to go? There we go. Uh, you can probably stop now. I don't need any more than that. So okay, now let's come back. We'll make two more of these, and then we'll come 
back. Starship technology. So there's those. And I need two wiring looms while well, I'm sitting right here. So I'll get two wiring looms. One, two. All right, so now the Starship into the technology. I'll install that. Awesome. Now my launch system will recharge itself and I won't need to worry all the time about uh, do I have enough uh, launch thruster. Anytime it's daylight, it'll be charging. Okay, what else did I want to install? Oh yeah, the, the scanners, right? So, conflict scanner is one wiring loom and one walker brain. That's going to be hard. Um, so we'll worry about that later. And the other thing I wanted to install is uh, the economy scanner. Uh, five microprocessors. Remember I bought those. And one wiring loom. So we'll put the microprocessors in it. We will buy yet another wiring loom. You never have too many wiring looms. And so we'll come back and uh, to the starship. We'll put that in our economy scanner. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, so we now have a functioning economy scanner. And let's just move the tech to the tech area. So I have more, uh, more space in my, in my cargo hold. So I'll put that there. Where'd the other scanner go? I did put it over there. Medium oscillator for the photon cannon. I uh, put it in the other spot, I guess, already. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm happy with that for now. Is this the exit? Yes, it is. So, let's go get that glyph. And then we'll return to the space station and I'll try to find a power source and then we'll be done. Hoping one's there. But I want to find that glyph first. Um, where is it? There it is. So, seek out the unknown grave. actually not worth our effort to hunt him down because it's only a hundred thousand units. I can make a hundred thousand units simply by landing. <laughs> maybe not on this world, but maybe. I'm not sure which world this is. Oh, whoa. whoops. Pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> uh, it's come back. <laughs> And press D instead of S, or instead of E. There we go. That's better. All right, here's our glyph. Let's extract the glyph. Now we have two. There's 16 in all, and that's the meaning of, you know, when they were talking about 16 this, 16 that, that was the meaning of that. Oh, you're crying out loud. Takes a little time to charge. <laughs> no, I have to make some fuel. How annoying. Hopefully this will be one of the few times now that I have to charge the launch thruster. You can see it. See the it's going up there. 
So if I was patient enough, all I would have to do is wait, but I'm very impatient. All right, shortcut home. Call the space anomaly. I'm gonna go into the space anomaly. Special effects. They're pretty cool effects, but you know. Okay, and now we're going to go into the space anomaly. Into here. So you recognize this. This is where Ares and the other ones are. Let's go through the main area. To my left is Nada and Polo. To my right is where I can buy new technologies. Come over here and look at this. It's a portal. This is a cool portal because it has many more choices than your ordinary portal. Especially it has featured places, although these have been the same for like forever. So they're boring. Um, but recent... Um, and of course the space stations and my base, Rocky Top, which I will warp to. And we're just waiting. What actually happens when we're warping, I'm pretty sure, is that it loads. So here we are, back home on our base. And now, what it would like me to do is try out my survey device. So we activate it with F, and then the number will activate the survey device. So here now, I'm searching for gas clouds. Now I'm searching for uh, minerals, and most importantly, I'm searching for power. I don't see any power nearby. That's unfortunate. So, I was sort of hoping there'd be power right on my little island here, but there isn't. You know, the survey thing has only a, a certain range, right? So I'm not sure exactly what the range is. Um, also, I'm not sure if there's a vertical range or not. Careful again, remember what I said about running into fish. Alright, so there's a hot spot around here. No nearby hot spot. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wonder where the nearest hot spot's gonna be. that there are underwater hotspots. Pretty sure there aren't, but you know, I don't know for sure. might be unlucky. Oh, here we go. Hot spot proximity 350. Hit E instead of W. So it's out in this direction. Oh, 
I guess there are underwater uh, hot spots. And you gotta be careful not to drown while I'm doing this. found it. It's only a C potential, but you know what? C potential is just fine with me now. I will mark this spot. And so here we go. Now, what I'm going to do here uh, is do a little building. So, now the hot spot, it's any it's you know, it's any place that's vertically accessible. So I'm going to do some building with the terrain manipulator. I'm gonna create and why won't it let me build? I should be able to build. Actually, not that far from my base either, which is really handy. There we go. See what I'm doing? Building myself a little undersea tower. Essentially, I'm building myself, when I'm done, it's not building as smoothly as I would like. Oops. Accidentally destroyed. There we go. I've now created a little artificial island. And now I'll add on to this a bit. Oops. Create. Still working on my island. to anchor stuff in and now I'm going to build oh, uh, it's too far away to build base stuff well it isn't technically but it is and let me explain what I mean by that see right now I can't build base stuff here but if I can somehow expand my base to reach that, I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go as close to my base as needed. So I need to go a bit further. Really, you're going to love this. Okay, can I build here? Not yet. Just go. Not yet. Now, some of these rules may have changed, right? As far as base building is concerned. So, we may have to, to adapt. But this used to work. And we'll see if it works here. Now, I don't know if I can climb up that high. <laughs> what I 
should have done is called my starship. Okay, I'll just go down. Oh, maybe I can build stuff here. Yeah, I can. Good. Okay. So, let's build... Let's build the simplest possible thing. Uh, let's build just a plain wall. Alright, so here I am now. I've got the wall up and out. So let's give it a surface that I can get myself on and work on. Alright, I can get on to that now. Alright, very good. So, there's my base. It's up there, but I'm working down here. No problem. Now, where is my little artificial island? I've lost it. <laughs> Well, there it is. Okay. So, I want to start building, and I'll just use the, the triangle, just because it's going to make life a bit easier for me. I don't know why it's hot. start building out toward it. Oops, not roof. Uh, floor. The precise route that I'm using here doesn't matter. The main thing is, I just want to get closer to it. Close enough so that I can reach my island. <laughs> now, you see, I'm going to hit a limit at a certain point. Beyond which I can't build. Could have been better built as well. You notice it's not exactly where the where the uh, power source is, but that's okay. We'll make that work. All right. Okay, we're pretty close now. So. so I think we might not even need the island. Oh yeah, look, it's right here. So. Looks like it's actually going to be close enough to the base. Yeah, it's going to be close enough to the base that... Uh, right on top of it so I don't need to do any stretching or, okay. so I'll keep going so it's somewhere down here right it's gonna be right almost under us now I've lost it my marker. Yeah, that's going to be right under us. Oops. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, 
Oh, that's gas. There it is. See, I basically want to get to it as close as I can. I think I'm pretty close here. Let's just jump, jump in the water. Try to get right down to it here. Okay, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where? Okay, careful, don't drown. <laughs> We might just have to experiment. I don't know, might be what we have to do. Go to my island here. <laughs> Alright. I just didn't want to drown in the water there. Okay, so that line there, that's my platform I've built. My hot spot. Oh, still not quite there, eh? more here than here. So let's let's maybe extend that platform a bit more. <clears throat> now what you should be noticing is I wasn't able to build my platform while I was sitting on the island. But now that I have my platform, I can add to it, even though I'm not, I wasn't close enough to build on it. And I'm not sure how far this will go exactly in this iteration of the game. But uh, yeah, it's way further than just, you know, the starting point you can start at. Alright, I really should be almost right over my power source here. So let's try so what I want to do now is build an electromagnetic generator so let's put one right here now let's see oh lovely it's generating 140 K per second let's let's build another one and oh I need more metal plating Let's make that metal plating. No, no, no. Oh, just do that. <sighs> All right. E, 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 E. That should be enough for now. Let's make another one now. what that's generating 136 139 so slightly better over here so let's add a little bit more platform make another generator Two, that's better. Again, do another one. 142 again, so we might have peaked right here. Let's see if going further would help us a bit. I don't need to destroy any of these, you know, I mean, they're all producing decent power, so I'd like to, you know, optimize if I can. So let's send power for magnetic generator. Oh, I need more metal plating. So I'll make some metal plating. I'm not going to make many more of these. I got more than enough now. <laughs> 
So I'm just more curious to see how much power they're making. 139. So this that's probably about the center of it right there. Oops. Fell off my platform. So I'll build one more. Because I have the metal plates. So I might as well use them. Okay. Now. Let's wire them together. So we're, we're basically building an electromagnetic grid. Aren't we? Yes, we are. I'll just make sure everything's wired together. The blue indicates power is flowing. Now, this is unnecessary, but I like to form the square. And now I'll just link these up. Whoops. Did that connect? I don't know. I'm not convinced that it did. So I'll remove it and try it again. And I'll wire this one up to this. And we're good to go. Now, I'm going to make a big long wire. Probably I can't reach all the way to my base. But I can reach pretty far. I think I can reach like up to about a hundred or something like that. Yep. And then we'll make another one starting here. Continuing on. See, my power line has to be on something. That's why I'm getting that invalid position. So let's put it on. There we go. And now I should be able to get it to stuff that I'm powering. Let's get it a bit closer to the, to the base here. Because I don't want to have ugly power lines stretching up. So I'll put it right here. And then now how do I get up? <laughs> can I land my ship here? I don't think I can. here. Uh, let's see if I can't build a temporary platform for my ship to land on. <laughs> uh, landing pad. Yeah, that'll work. I think I can just call my ship. Get into the ship, fly up, and up to the uh, island, and land here. And now what I'll do is I'll use this base for now. It should do the trick for me actually. So there's the power receptor. So again, Z and now I'll select the power the electrical wiring. So click and now you sort of have to be careful not to press extra buttons. <laughs> it up here and there it is and now you see what I've done is 
I've powered. <laughs> I've powered my station. So now I can clean this up later. This is, you know, and, and in fact I will, so that it actually looks like you know I have power lines running. I don't have to have this whole big ramp. But the whole idea now is that I have free power for my station. Actually, I have tons of free power for my station. So, wonder, can I build a teleport thing here, to uh, Message module? Nope. Okay, there's a local teleport thing. I don't have the plans to build. That'll make it easier for me to move around and not always have to call my starship. But <laughs> If I want to go to my base. But, oh well. I'm going to fly up to the base again. Kind of annoying, but... Okay. Anyhow, we'll go now. building. I lost my round building. <laughs> Here's some more. It's getting dark so it's a bit hard to see. There we go. My round building is powered. So Z and then I'll select my power cable. And again this is all just temporary wiring just to wire things together. So here I'll wire my storage container. should work. Why is it not working? Hmm. Well, maybe I should be able to power the rest of this stuff with this. I don't know what the exact problem is. Wiring. Let's just remove this. Okay, that just removes it from the grid entirely. Now let's try it. See, it's too close to the starship. That's what the problem was. It's running right through my starship. <laughs> okay, so that was the problem. All right, so let's just build something, anything. Uh, another cylindrical room. Sure. Let's build that here. Again, all totally temporary. But I just want to get this all connected so that everything's all working. All right, so connect, connect, that works, connect, and we'll connect up here. Still not working. Going through the ship here. No. Yeah. 
how weird. I'll just make a new one. And now, some electrical wiring. Oh, it's still too close to the starship, even there, right? All right. There. That should be okay. that wiring power is that that's better and now we should be able to power everything that's in here <laughs> here. I'll put up some lights. Remember I learned how to make lights back before. So what's, where's that going to be? Um, hmm. Should be around somewhere. how to make lights. You saw me. There we go. So let's put let's put a, a light here and a light here and a light here and now we'll connect them up with the power wiring. So wire, 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 wire wire and we have light in our in our space good light not a bad light that we had with those other things so and then finally uh remember my portal which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't where did i put it, it was in the other little building wasn't it with the weird entrance Yeah, it was in here, right? Remember, there it is, in fact. So, let's get some wiring. And connect. Connect that to something here. There, connect it there. And now the portal is working. And everything in here should be working. Check that out even though it's dark, even though we don't have any power or even any, well, this story, but uh, the portal works and we don't need to worry. So that's it. We have electromagnetic power. Um, what, what were those called again? Uh, yeah, electromagnetic generator. So we have created electromagnetic power for our station. We don't need to depend on solar panels or anything else anymore. I'll clean this up later uh, in another episode, but we've accomplished our major task for today, and I'm going to call it an episode with that. So let's save, and um, we'll finish here. Talk to you again next time.